Hey, what's up, guys? Let me know if you guys can hear me quickly. Let me know. Um, we are live, everybody. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, we got some Q&A already starting. I just want to say what's up, everybody. Good evening. Thanks for jumping on today. Um, if you guys can hear me, please let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Uh, give me a quick update on the visual and audio. If you guys can hear this, let me know. Let's see. Okay, so we got Ron. What's up, Ron? Nice seeing you on. You have a question about flies, and I do have an answer for that. Um, just want to check, make sure our audio is good. So Russ says our audio is good. Okay, everybody's saying all good. All right, good, good, good. Denny, John, Barry, Russ, Pistol, Pistol Pete. Gavin, what's up? Brian, what's up? Arnold, what's up? Okay, cool, 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 cool. So um, let's jump right into it. Oh, before we jump into it, I am actually meeting Kovacs of Japan on not this coming Monday, but the, what day is that? The 29th. We got three dudes from Kovacs Sandpaper Corporation in Japan. Um, they're coming down to meet me. They're going to give me some uh, products to talk about, uh, some samples. And then once we get back to Hawaii, I will be doing videos on those products and whatnot. And the funny thing is I've been using Kovacs products for a long time um, since my early, you know, since working with my dad and my teens, very good sandpapers. And um, they have some new products, they said, and they want to show me some new products. So that'll be cool. And I told them, hey, what if we did a little YouTube um, with the guys, the Japanese dudes? They're like, maybe they're thinking about it. I don't think they are like uh, PR people, but we'll see. Okay. So that's cool, um, and I'll be sharing some awesome uh, new products from Kovacs Sandpaper Corporation as well. So Ron says, flies are attracted to my clear coat. Of course, the center of the hood of all places. Do you guys spray anything before paint, any ingredients and in fly spray paint that may react to the paint? Okay, so uh, Ron, I've had this experience before, not just flies, but like little insects, uh, fruit flies. What kind of flies are they? Are they the big flies or are they little fruit fly kind of smaller flies question? Um, and I noticed that some clear coat brands attract insects more than others. And I noticed that the sweeter the smell, the more insects that are attracted to that uh, clear coat. And I noticed for me personally, DuPont clear coats attract bugs more than a PPG or a house of color. So keep that in mind. I don't know all other brands because I haven't sprayed with like like all of the clear coat brands out there. There's a lot of different brands out there, but I do notice, well, I did notice in the past that with DuPont, you get a lot of insects that are attracted to it. And the other issue is where are you doing it? In a closed garage? Is there a way you can seal your garage better uh, so you don't get the, the uh, flies coming in? Are you doing it in a tent? Where are you doing it? You're going to have to try to seal your area a little bit better if possible. Um, that's that's my reply. Uh, Pistol Pete says they make oils you can use to defer the uh, mosquitoes and stuff. So that's a thing you could use. Salmonella. Um, no, citronella. So what am I? Salmonella. Citronella, guys. I'm I'm such an idiot. Salmonella. <laughs> oh my god! What would they do if they had a salmonella candle? <laughs> citronella candles, guys, or like a tiki torch outside. Put I would put some citronella out there. It might help. I don't know. Um, but you could look into that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, thank you. Nice presentation on the e-com. Yeah, we had, we have a handful of people who already joined. Uh, we're going to be starting the training on July 1st. It's going to be an eight week intensive training completely recorded. It's going to be awesome. Um, okay. Let's see. VIP Jack Callis and a brother. Here we go again. What does that mean? It's got to be your connection, Jack. What's up, guy, YouTuber? Hey, Tony. So come on, guys. Pump up the Q&A. Um, if there's any new VIP members on here, recently just joined, let me know. I have a surprise for you. You're winning something. A brand new VIP guy within the past. The newest guy who joined 
let me know. And again, I get it. Not all VIPs can jump on the live call. Not all VIPs are into YouTube live. I get it. Not all VIPs even do social media. I get it. So, you know, it is what it is. But for those who do, the newest person, if you guys can type in here the last day you joined recently, um, we have a, a present for you. Um, Christopher Bell, thank you for that, um, that information there. Just have curtains, use Dimension. Have you ever heard of it? Yes, I've heard of uh, Dimension Clear Coat. Um, I don't think I used it. Uh, what's up, Terry? Brand new VIP in the last three days. Christopher Bell, that's pretty new. That's pretty new, Christopher Bell. Uh, what time training be on the Ecom Domination? Uh, new VIP about a month ago. Terry, when did you join? Welcome to VIP. Three weeks ago. Uh, guys, we're going to have more giveaways, so don't worry. I just want to kind of congratulate the, the most recent VIP member here. The most recent. Um, I'm actually going to give away a spray gun for Father's Day as well. I'm going to go out and buy a X-16 and give away an Adam X-16 spray gun for Father's Day. Still counting down to live when I saw people saying it was good. Welcome, Christopher. First time catching you live. That's awesome. Okay, so it looks like as of now, the newest member is Christopher Bell. So Christopher Bell, if you would, would you please email into ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com or Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com and tell them you are a brand new winner. And you won a free GunBud Ultra Lighting System. I Like I said, last couple weeks ago, I bought a bunch of them, and I'm giving them away to my VIPs. Wow, Arnold is super quick. <laughs> Arnold, dude, did you, like, hear this before anybody else? Like, I don't even think... Uh, so, Christopher Bell, keep in mind, my team is going to make sure that you are a VIP. So there's no way in tricking and saying you're a VIP if you're not... The girls are going to double check to make sure you have an account that you're a paid VIP member. If you are, um, basically just help uh, with $10 shipping and handling, and we will get you one of those out um, absolutely free. All right? I think you're going to love it. Okay. Any other Q&A? So I, got, I told you guys about the um, update on Kovacs with the sandpapers. Um, as of now, my tickets to Hawaii are okay. Okay, um, so I, I'm already – okay, so back to – yes, congratulations to all new VIP members. Welcome to the group. Arnold is on Pacific time. He sees it before us all. <laughs> um, so, guys, I'm really hoping to get back to Honolulu. I already ordered some materials for the CRV project. I already ordered some off-road uh, tires because we're going to be lifting the CRV project, tactical paint job on it. Um, I'm thinking we're going to be doing the single stage with uh, clear coat mixture in the last coat because um, I think that's what everybody wants to see. Um, let me know, guys. Would you guys be interested in more of a single stage paint job on the CRV project or a base coat, clear coat paint job? Let me know. I'm thinking of going toward a single stage the last time you guys said you were interested in seeing a single stage. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, Arnold said – Arnold's on East Ar – Arnold's on New York time. Um, what's up, Edwin? What's up? What's up? Just made it in the family. Awesome. Welcome to VIP. Victor, VIP, what's up? Okay, John Cruz said, just bought an Atom X27 spray gun and X16. What is the smallest tip for the X16 that will spray flake well? So if you're using a micro-sequence flake, I believe you can spray it out of a 1.1. I know a 1.2 for sure, but I think it'll even come out of a 1.1 or even a 1.0. I would just test it. If you're using a micro-sequence flake, okay? Um, Tony, X16, 1.4 tip, your thoughts. Uh, what about my thoughts? 
what uh, is, is it is it about John's question there about the flake? Um, just know that I have sprayed ultra mini flake out of a 1.2 no problem, and I believe it'll come out of a 1.1 uh, 1 1 as well. Um, I would even think even a 1.0. I would just test it out. Make sure you got no filter in it, okay? And just just spray it. Try it out. If it clogs up, then you know you got to move up um, to a 1.2 at least. I know it comes out of a 1.3, 1.4, no problem. 1.2, no problem. Um, okay. Victor said, I was wondering about painting a chrome bumper. So all you have to do when painting a chrome bumper is sand it down with like 150 grit, get it all scuffed up. Then I would spray a nice uh, 2K epoxy primer on top of that. And then you can spray a 2K filler primer on top of that. Sand it down, wash it down with 400 grit, make sure it's nice and flat. And then you can spray a base coat, clear coat on top of that or a uh, single stage enamel. And the back of the bumper, you could actually put a uh, rubberized undercoating if you want, just to seal it up. So that's another option. Um, Tony, I know you're busy. Did you get my pictures and video of the Model A? I looked at it this morning briefly when I woke up uh, like at four o'clock in the morning. I checked my phone. I saw it. I did not watch the video yet, Jack, but it's on my agenda for today. It's keep in mind, it's 940 AM. Um, I've been up since five pretty much. Um, I just getting prepared for this. And then I got to talk to my team um, right after we get off uh, the call here, but I have that on my plate today. I'm going to check it out. Definitely. So yeah. Hey, Tony, I've seen a video of you talking about helping when helping a military guy at a paint shop outside, told him not to waste, worry about sealer. What sealer uh, compared to 2K surfaced or epoxy? Um, what sealer compared to 2K surfaced or epoxy primer? Well, if you're using... If you're going over epoxy or body filler or a sanded clear coat surface or a sanded bodywork surface, you can use a 2K filler primer, something like Advantage, okay? Over everything, wash it down with 400 grit, use some glaze putty if there's any uh, chips or nicks that you missed, and then recoat that with the 2K filler primer, sand it down, and then you're ready for paint, okay? A good 2K filler primer, is a good foundation for base coat, clear coat painting. J, J, K, J, L. I'm a little dyslexic, guys. K, J, L. Hi, everyone. Good to hear your voice, Tony. What's up? What's up? Tony, uh, Terry says, getting to paint a 78 VW Beetle convertible. Nice car. Uh, just laid down sealer primer, two quarts. Awesome. My question is, I'm looking at House of Color paint. I'm confused on how many quarts do I order I'm looking at the single stage. Do I mix? Do I mix it a three to one ratio? Well, I don't, I'm not sure exactly. I've never painted a house of color single stage. Um, I would just look at the mixing ratio on the can, whatever it is. Then that's your mixing ratio. Um, as far as how much do you order, I would get a one gallon kit. Okay, you you will have leftover, so don't mix the whole one gallon kit at one shot. I would mix half of it. And if you need a little bit more, I would mix maybe half of that. So you would basically have some leftover, um, some leftover paint. So somebody just said, why do I skip questions irritating? I'm not doing it intentionally. Okay. I might've just missed it. So I'm trying to go back here to see if I can get your question. Okay. This is a lot coming in here and sometimes I miss it. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. So all I see from Nick is tricoat. And then for a tricoat, can you mix the base and mid coat metallic to make two stage for a tricoat? Can you mix the base and mid coat metallic to make two stage? I don't get that. It's very confusing. Your question's confusing. Tri coat is usually you put a base coat on, you would put an inner coat clear in between that with flake or pearl, and then you put clear coat on top of that. I'm not sure what your question is. 
Can you mix base and mid coat? Usually you don't mix mason, base and mid coat together. You don't do that. Your mid coat is a separate coat. Okay, so if, if you're looking to do a, a two stage, you would mix a uh, pearl coat. Okay, you would mix pearl or flake in your clear coat if you want to condense it to a two stage. So if you want to spray base and if you want to put a, a mid coat, but you want to skip the mid coat, you could add a pearl or flake in your clear coat. Okay, to do that, to get the same effect. But if you run it, it's over because there's no way you're going to fix that run because it's in your clear coat. You're going to have to repaint the panel. So I don't know. Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, Paul Carroll says, VIP Spokane. I'm in the middle of epoxying my, my louvers about in a grill, 92 Camaro. We'll do the other side after live feed. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay. Someone, Edwin says, when it comes to those expensive guns, what do you think are the X88 gun will compare to? I don't mean to disrespect. Uh, hey, it is what it is. I mean, I, you, you have, you're entitled to your own opinion. Um, well, the second gen version of the X88 right now, they're releasing the first gen. I know the second gen version will be a split tip nozzle. So it's a different, uh, spray pattern that you're going to get. Um, instead of an oval, it's going to be more of a, I don't know, you want to call it a rectangle, but a very narrow rectangle spray pattern. It's a little different, but it, it is a very, very nice gun. Okay. And I think for, for the $400 value with two different tip, si tip sizes you get, I think it's a value. And it also comes with a gun bud uh, ultra lighting systems. Um, Hey, Tony, sorry I'm late. VIP, what's up, what's up? I'm curious on the X88 also compared to the X, X27. As far as the comparability, I think they're pretty much the same uh, with X27 and, 28, and 88. The main difference of the first gen will be the, the look and feel of it, the rainbow, uh, the rainbow uh, colored design, and the two tips that you get as a package. So with the X27, it's, it's usually one tip that you get um, and then you got to buy an extra tip kit if you want to convert it. But the X88 comes with a 1.3 and 1.4 um, tip kit. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's displayed over here um, at Zula.com. Just to drop a link here. So what else? What else? What else? Thanks, Tony. You're welcome. Um, I think that's one of my very first topics, Pistol, is the intro. More paint jobs in the VIP explains, I think. Okay, trying to make it easier. What is it meant by fog coating? Um, fog coating, I've never really heard the term. It could be more maybe drop coating, but basically turning your pressure up about one PSI, two PSI, holding your gun back, and after you spray paint a panel, you basically are going to crisscross it to get that metallic even. And this is more if you're spraying metallics or pearls. Um, to make sure that your coat is even. And we're going to get more into that. The CRV project is going to be more of a single a single color. We're not going to have any flake in it. We're not going to have any pearl in it. I mean, although I want to, but I think if we're going to be doing a, um, a tactical CRV look, you know, it's better to have a solid tone. You know, we're going to be doing a um, Toyota Tacoma. I believe it's going to be the Toyota Tacoma sand color. Um, just a flat tone um, color. Maybe we should we could even get into like a rhino color. I think a rhino gray would also look good. A rhino gray and black or a sand color and black. What do you guys think? What do you guys want to see? We could go either or. I think the sand color would look cool with black. Um, so yeah, VIP Kansas, what's up? Kelvin says, I loved your e-commerce training and presentation. Did you learn? Did you learn something, Kelvin? Did you like it? Uh, yes, Arnold. Definitely get back to me on that. Um, I do have special pricing for VIPs. So if you guys are VIPs and you want to email in, 
um, we got special pricing for you. Um, it's more guys, it's more of an, uh, skin in the game investment, because if I can give this, that's cut type of training away for free, you guys get it for free. You don't do nothing with it. You're not going to get results. It's, it's plain, simple, and, and true. So it's just a way for people to commit so I can commit so I can get you the content. It's going to be fresh content. We're starting the information on July 1st and it's going to be new content every week. I'm going to be building out a brand new site. I'm going to be buying a brand new domain name. We're going to be building a completely new uh, e-commerce money-making website from the ground up. So you guys are going to see this thing take off from, from nothing to something. And if you copy how I'm building this thing out, you guys are going to come out on the end of eight weeks with a money-making e-commerce site. No joke. So that's, this is how I wanted to create it, you know, like actually go through and, and not show you what I've done, but build something from scratch brand new. Of course, you're going to get all the, all the insider information of, because I've done this multiple times before, right? So it's not like starting from scratch. We're starting to build something new from scratch, but the strategies are time tested, true and proven. You know what I mean? So it's different. Um, can I shoot 2K primer after wet sanding polyester primer with 220? Absolutely. And that's uh, pretty much what you would shoot it over anyway. So yes. Gavin, guys, see, just see if yours like buttons, your like buttons are working. <laughs> yeah, hit the like button, guys. Um, Nick, midcoat. Hold on a second. My eyes are jamming up. You have to be in it to win it like the lotto. Yeah, man, you got to be in it to win it. That's true. Nick, mid coat is for pearl, flake, candy, transparent color, not for base unless it is a different color. Yeah, if you guys mix a flake or pearl in base coat, you got to put so much into it. Okay, for, for you to get any kind of effect. But if you use a mid coat, which is a clear base coat, you don't need a lot. You just put a little teaspoon in a quart will give you that effect because you're laying it on top of it. And we have videos in VIP with this. And if you put it in clear coat, same thing. You don't need a lot to get an effect. And again, once we get back to Honolulu, I'm back in the paint job game. We're going to be creating content on more of this. We already have this in VIP, guys. It's already there. But again, we're going to be putting new videos out. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, man, Tony, I have to work things out and see. If, for me, e um, work out like Czar. Hey, it is what it is, man. I get it. Love it so much that I already downloaded the Alibaba app. <laughs> Smash the like button, fellas. What should I do as far as paint if there's already two colors on the truck? It's been paints. It depends on your final end goal, okay? If you're looking to bang out a quick job, all right, or something you really don't care about, you just want to get a, a third color paint job on it, you don't have to worry about it too much. I would just sand it down with like a 150 to 220 even a 240, it depends on what you're working with. Okay, if you have a lot of peeling, pitting, and fading on the paint job, a lot of chipped corners, you might want to get a little bit more aggressive, like pretty much maybe use a, I would think a 180, 220 would be okay. And then I would prime the whole thing down with a 2K filler primer, wet sand it. You don't have to wet sand it. You could cheat and dry sand it. But wet sand it, get it finished with 400, then you can lay a... Uh, a paint job on top of that. Okay. If this is something sentimental and you want to take off the old crap, you could send it down to metal. Okay. You could, it's going to be a lot of work, but you can send it down to metal, get an 80 grit, go down to metal, get an epoxy primer, epoxy the whole thing, put a 2k primer on top of that, sand it down, and then you're good. Okay. Um, it, it depends on the quality that you want. The budget that you're working with, you might not have a budget to spend 400 bucks on primers and stuff. You know, um, you might just want to seal it and paint it. Okay, okay, okay. 
Uh, what's, what grit sandpaper do I use before spraying? So if you're doing a single stage, you could finish off with like uh, 360, even like a 340. But if you're doing, but I would really recommend 400. Okay, finish with 400. Base coat, clear coat, finish with 400. Um, Arnold, Tony, I went to the 1.4 tip on the Mini X16 because Zula was out of the 1.3. Your thoughts? I already have 1.2 tip X16. Uh, well, if you're using, dude, if you're using a X16, a Mini X16 spray gun with a 1.4, that's basically like converting the Mini gun to a full-size gun. You just have less material. So there's no issue with that at all. No issue whatsoever. So it, it's basically going to spray like a full-size spray gun with a narrower fan uh, uh, tip, okay, and a smaller fluid cup. That's all that's going to happen. I started a semi-restoration after watching your videos, working with a nurse in New York City during COVID. I needed something to take my mind off the virus. I keep going back to your videos every time. Thank you so much, Kappa. And again, more awesome videos are coming out soon. You know, I'm, I've been kind of stranded here, not really stranded, but just doing other things in my life right now in Japan with my family. Um, I have a disabled daughter. We're attending to her to do some things here. You know, I've been here. I mean, it's going to be four months that I'm here, guys. Um, but I'm happy that I can at least get on here and at least contribute back to some Q&A because I'm not able to do the shop stuff. You know, um, it didn't it, it ended up not really working out with the Japanese dude that I was going to do things here with. He just ended up being busy and it's just not being able to get his shop set up. So it's just, it just didn't work out. You know, it is what it is. But when I get back to my location, we will have some stuff. So just be patient guys. Um, you know, and I do plan to get my own compound in Hawaii once I get back, hopefully soon uh, to where we can do LABAP garage on my own piece of property and, um, and do projects there, which would be awesome. Uh, do you have a video on painting stripes? Not stripes, but I have a video on doing two-tone, kind of like stripes in VIP. So it's all there in VIP as well. If you're not a VIP member, um, definitely check out learnautobodyandpaint.com. You can grab a free book right over here on this page, um, which is filled with a ton of information. And then if you want to join VIP, there's a special offer where you can join VIP there. So, uh, so yeah. Hey, Tony, did you, Victor says, Hey, Tony, have you used Eastwood SCT tool? If you so, did you like the way it worked? I have not used that tool. In fact, I have to Google it because I don't know what you're talking about. Let me take a look. The Google SCT surfacing condition tool. What is this? What are we looking at here? Oh, this thing, a stripper. I haven't used it, but I mean, it looks like it, it has pretty good reviews, $190. If you want to get it, get it. It's just a, a, a stripping tool. I mean, it looks, looks cool. I'm sure for you, I'm sure for you niched, niched e-com guys, we can find these uh, a lot cheaper and resell them. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to drop the link again for my e-com training. Um, if you guys are interested in that, um, just sign up right here. The training is immediately available. It'll show you how to tap the $4.5 trillion e-commerce industry and build a money-making online business. Um, this is for the X16 that I won. Let me go back here. What are you saying, Arnold? My man, Arnold here. Um, okay, Tony, I went with the 1.4 tip on the mini X16 because Zula was out at a 1.3. I read that. I already have the 1.2. Um, you mentioned 2K. You mentioned 2K over epoxy primer, but I heard you say 2K direct on metal is okay. Yes, it's okay, Frank. 2K is okay on bare metal on small surfaces. You know, so if you're painting a fender and you have like a maybe a two by six section or part of your fender on metal, you'll be fine. But if you're going to be spraying over complete metal, right? 
an epoxy primer is better. Okay, if you're doing a lot of metal, that's what it's made for. Okay, I've done 2K over a complete metal fender without any problems. But if you guys want to be safe, then sorry. You know, I, I haven't had any issues, honestly, but I can't. I just don't want to just be out there telling you, yeah, you don't need epoxy primer at all. Okay. I don't want to just be out there saying that, but I've done it with no issues. You know, that's all I can really say. But the correct technical way would be to put an epoxy primer over metal, then a 2K filler primer on top of that, sand that down, and then you're ready for spray. All right. Um, oh, this is for the X16. Okay, cool. Uh, two to three tone and graphics. What chapter? It's not by chapter in the book. I would take a look at the mower project. We got some graphics on there. The old school uh, RAV project. We got two tone on there. There's probably more. The Miata project. There's two tone when I did the side two tone graphics on there. So there's a lot of different. There's a lot of different projects in there with two tone that we did. Uh, Pistol Pete. Yes, absolutely. Self etch is also okay. Yes, you're you're right. Um, but epoxy is better. How about epoxy over fiberglass? I don't think you need to do epoxy over fiberglass. I never did. I always had very good revo uh, results with a 2K filler primer, okay, over epoxy. And we have all those videos in VIP because I've done a ton of projects with body kits. Like in Learn Auto Body VIP, dude, there's a ton of body kit projects. There's multiple projects. So again, if you're not VIP, download this manual first, and then there is a offer to join VIP if you guys want to support. Um, you guys have chances to win free stuff. And again, guys, there's going to be more stuff coming soon. Once I get to Hawaii, once I get settled in there, once I get back at the shop and we got, it's going to be different. You know, right now I'm working in a cram situation um, and uh, it's just, it's just the times. I know all of you can understand because we've all been through this crazy pandemic in the past couple of months. We're still going through it and it's just a crunch on everybody's time and, and, and living situation. So I'm sure you guys understand. But, uh, all right, guys, I got to go. I have a few things. I have to run out and do a couple things. And um, it is what it is. Can you put the e-commerce link again? Yes, I can. Here is the training. So as soon as you put your name and email in, you will get directed to the training page. It's about a little over an hour long. I would highly recommend watch the whole thing if you want to join on that special offer. Um, it's it's going to be an incredible ride. It's going to be A to Z, ground up, nuts and bolts on how to build a profitable e-commerce business. It's going to, I'm going to talk to you about the opportunity right now, uh, the trend in e-commerce. It's a Guys, it's a $4.5 trillion industry right now this year. Trillion. Do you know how big that is? Huge. It's ridiculous. Anyway, thank you guys for jumping on. Um, more things coming down the pipeline, I promise. And we will also start pumping out entrepreneurship type of content, money, you know, money making, maybe some of the stocks plays that I've been doing lately, um, on YouTube. So it's going to be different content. So you guys pick and choose what you want to watch, but I will start uploading those types of videos. Once I get my office set up in Hawaii, like I said, I already have my computers over there, uh, my cameras and all of that. So it's going to be a different uh, it's going to be more of a recording studio style uh, with different type of um, uh, information. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I will see you uh, in the couple of days. Terry, thank you so much. Um, thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. And if you guys are VIP and uh, you want a special deal on Ecom, email me privately, okay, because it's gonna there's going to be a special price point um, for VIP guys. All right. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. I'll see you in a couple days. And um, yeah, guys, thanks for joining. I'll talk to you guys soon.